Welcome back here to Central Kansas, where we are, uh, well, I, I did a little bit off screen now. I, if we go to our statistics, I sold off almost all of our uh, wheat, all of our barley, and almost all of our corn. I just didn't take those small little loads. We've got this guy working hard away with course play got that switched over and then we have these two fields ready to roll so we're we're pretty close if we go in and look at our mods and to our harvesters where we can buy the terror track but we can't buy the head to go with it the head is an extra 97,000 cows are an extra at least 100,000 to get 50 other buggers so we're close we're we're knocking on the door of having the money we need. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get started with this guy here. I've got the uh, case here with the kid. Um, let's and I got the four down at the other end of the field. Should go. Yep, there he goes. All right, put that up there. So uh, so I don't forget. This should go relatively quickly, this one field here. And then we'll put the uh, the cat over on the other field. Let's get to the Ford. It's really not going super fast. I mean, I guess it's fast enough. That's uh, that. There we go. So hopefully he's going to hit it perfectly. Somehow I don't think so. No. I got it all knackered up. Shocking as that might be. I know some of you are totally, totally shocked by that. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. There. <laughs> Got it. Uh, what I think we'll get... Do we get a... Field gets us... I think this gets us one... No, it gets us two trailer trips to the uh, mill and that'll be good because two trailer trips to the mill I think will uh, will push us well up to the level that I don't I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to get the Terra track at that level or get the Terra track and the thingamajiggy that goes on the Terra track the head but we should be really really close um, oh, this guy. We're going to go ahead and get this ready for the cows. So I'm going to go ahead and unload this. Is it going anywhere? How did I feed them straw? No, I didn't feed them straw. Ah, uh, where did that go? Statistics, cows... Yes, so the straw is all the way up. Perfect. So we can get this guy out of the way. We're just going to park him around the corner here. Stop. Okay, so we got the straw. Which is great. Now when the uh, the Ford front end loader is done, we'll bring him over here and we'll go ahead and work on some mixed rations, we hope. So we'll be all ready for the cows. I'll let that work. Yeah. Actually parked in the right spot for a change. Okay. So this guy doesn't need... See, 50%. Is that going to be too much, do we think? No, I think 15 is right on the threshold for this. Working mode. Turn it on. Let's go. Nope, it's too fast. Okay, so level one. Level one it is. Whoa, level one's too fast? Really? We're just going to go straight back. We're going to go 
forward. Come on. Get that a little bit. There you go. Alright, so now... Level 1 is too much, huh? So let's... Select the tractor... Oh, level 1 would be way too much, wouldn't it? Dang it. Come on. Come on all the way down. I know it's going to be too much. There. Okay, that was good. Now I just need to... Ugh, loop around. I need you. Yes, I know. I could course play this, but the work it takes to course play this Ford for this field is more work than I'm really willing to put into it. It's a relatively small field. Of course, it would help because I could get things lined up and not have to guess and hope, but that's what we're going to go with. Guess and hope. Now, to turn this guy around, we'll pick up a little bit of grass, no harm, no foul in that. Go simple as can be. Oh, pick it up, you silly thing. What? Oh, are we still going too fast? We're still going too fast. All right, fine. There, are you happy with 8 miles an hour? You're happy with 8 miles an hour. Oh my goodness. Mostly happy with 8 miles an hour. Good. Wow. <laughs> the slow train. Alright, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping we'll be able to get cows sorted. It's going to cost me a hundred grand, I think, to get 50 cows. I might, I might be happy with 25 cows to start. Just as a, an intro to the whole cow farming thing. Because um, then, I think, maybe, maybe, just maybe, We'll have enough money. Okay, you can go a little bit faster, I think. Just select there. Yeah. All right, come on. You can do this. Ten. We'll go with ten. Ugh, not driving very well. <sighs> okay. Now I still have my my courses for the silage, not the silage, the slurry over at the other big field. So I'll still be able to slurry out that field, which will be nice. Uh, what else? I don't know what else, really. Let's stop here. Let's get you sorted now. Come on, let's go. Right. Crap, we didn't we didn't plan this very well. Let's get this lined up. Go. There, I hope. Does that look right? If I do that... Yeah, barely. <laughs> I'm going to leave him running now. Alright, let's go. Got a little gravy train sorted out here. So we can fill up another silo full of silage. And I think that's really where the money's at here. I mean, when I, I kind of went back and looked at some of my um, some of my videos, um, really when it comes down to it, we made most of our money running the silage. Now, how realistic is that? I don't know. But when it comes down to it, 
I want to make some good money. Some good coin. The way to do it is uh, silage. Now the nice thing with the wheat and the barley is you are double dipping a little bit. Which I happen to approve of. And then when you think about it, you're actually almost triple dipping when you include the uh, the liquid manure there, the liquid slurry. Because in the barley, you get a crop that you can sell for a decent amount. Same with wheat, you get a decent, decent crop sale. Then you get the straw that you can sell um, for a decent amount via silage. Then you get the liquid slurry that you can use to fertilize, which means you save money on fertilizing. So all in all, I think when it comes down to it, oop, wrong way. Um, it's really the way to go. I mean, certainly you could make a case for for doing silage with corn. I mean, I think your numbers are a little bit higher um, to silage the corn in terms of the sheer amount of silage. But if you think about it from a perspective of investment capital, I think it's cheaper to run this this barley wheat silage bit rather than the corn because to really collect the corn you need the crone harvester which is half million dollar piece of equipment with this you can use just the regular harvester which you can get relatively cheap the kid which is extremely cheap a trailer behind the kid which can be as cheap as you want it to be and something to run buckets, which in this case is a cheap Ford with a cheap bucket. So, sort of kind of what you make of it. Just trying to trying to see the other Ford on my my thing up there, but he doesn't show because there's no driver in there. See how full he really is. these little nubbins I left over here. Okay. Now obviously if you're playing on something um, less challenging than this, turn that off. Oh. <laughs> um. 10,000. Uh, we should just squeak by underneath, I think. Okay, stop. Thereabouts. Are we running again? Barley, okay. Let's check our barley prices really quick. They are modulated. 279 a ton. Hmm. I think we might put those in storage. I'll go ahead and, and put the, the barley in storage right now. Ugh. Totally knackered that up. Go. Um, yeah, I think I'll put the barley in storage right now, but I'll probably sell it very shortly thereafter. Um, we're at 379. Her silage mound is dwindling over there. Oh my goodness, come on. Come on. Finish emptying. <sighs> Almost there. And okay, so we don't get 358. Yeah, that's fine. Should I just go sell it? 
Nah, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and put it in storage for now. Yeah, we'll, we'll store it up. No harm in, in putting it in storage for a little bit. Come on. There we go. 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 So we've got this field mostly done. The case will will continue on the case. Collecting the stuff and putting it in silage. Alright. Yeah. So yeah, if you're if you're running hard, I'm thinking that the best way to make money quickly quickly being of course a relative term is really to run I'm just trying to grab a little bit off of him so he makes it to the other side. Um, is to run wheat or barley, use the kid to convert everything into silage and and handle that and do that. I think that's the best way. Wrong direction. Right. Let's go. And the other advantage of course is the kid can be used to mow grass and put that up for silage, so All in all, I think it's a good plan. I don't think corn pays the bills quite the same. Especially when you consider equipment outlay. Now, if you if your farm is rich enough that you don't need the equipment outlay, then, well, shoot, get the crone and do the corn, I think. Seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Is he done? He's done. Oh, I missed a strip. Right there. Huh. What do you know? Oh, he is so close to being done over here. Now, with this 2,000 liter bucket that the Ford runs, I could not deal with that um, without course play at this point. I mean, even before when I was trying without course play, it was just so painful to uh, manage that by hand. Remember, these are 600,000 liter silos. So 600,000 liters is 1,200 trips. Yes. Partially up here, but we have to move that forward. Yep. Right, let's get you over here by this little nubbin. Alright, now to the Ford. Not doing bad. Not doing bad at all. Very, very quick, very simple. We're gonna end up. I'm thinking we're gonna end up pretty darn near to 400,000 with the um, with the silage. I don't think we'll break it. I think we'll we'll end up near. And that's really where this is going to come in. This this barley. I think we'll end up selling the barley pretty quickly. Yeah, probably. And I will try course play again on the big field with the canola. Um, <clears throat> I think if I adjusted turning radius, and part of the problem was the Ford just has a tight turning radius. And it was kept kicking the harvester because it has a tight turning radius, and then the trailer has a very, very tight turning radius because of the, the bogey wheels on it. So I think if I play with the turning radius a little bit, maybe that will help. I don't know. But we're going to give it a shot. 
Um, oh, and and y'all all gave me some great suggestions about um, why the course play worker doesn't doesn't cost me any money. And and one of them kind of made me laugh, and then I thought about it. And I'm like, you know what would be? An, I've got an even better idea. So I have decided that the course play workers are um, inmates from the local uh, correctional facility, the the ones the the ones that are allowed to work off some of their time. So he works he, for free because he's actually a prisoner. That's what I've decided. And if he does a good job, then he he gets he gets to go early or something. That's that's what we're going with. Uh, that is my that's my thought. Are we almost yeah we're pretty close to done with this field in terms of the harvester. This of course will take longer. I did position that forward again, right? I hope so. We'll find out here in a moment. Yes, I did. Excellent. Well, looks like it looks like our worker is on his very last leg over there. So not as close to 400. Yep. Not as close to 400 as I thought. 386. Oops. What did I just do? Oh, I hit a button. Uh, all right. Yeah, not as close to 400 as I really would have liked, but I can't really sneeze at it and say it's terrible. So. How is he over there? Oh, yep, he's going to his last stop. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna cut some grass. Okay, I think I need to go shut him down, because he won't shut down on his own. I do know that. Oh, does he still have one more run to go? Apparently so. Oh, nope, he's finished work. Alright. Let's go ahead and fill this up, though. And I'll reposition the Ford for, I think, the penultimate pass. Five out of six. Come on. Maybe I'll reposition the Ford. Good grief. And done. All right, stop. Ford. Yeah, I think this is the penultimate pass. No. Go. Is that? That's pretty close. Put out your your pipe, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, might catch him on the turn. Nope, nope, I got him. Just barely. All right, well, they're doing that. Over here, turn you off. Stop the driver. Cool. All right, we'll deal with him in a minute. All right. Nope, turn that off. What am I doing? Go. All right. Kill, kill, kill. We will um, dump this off. We'll refuel the Ford because the Ford needs to be refueled a little bit. And then we'll take the bucket and we're going to go over to the cow silage. 
go ahead and prep ourselves for some cows. I think we're going to go ahead and buy some cattle. We might not buy the full 50 head. Might just go with 25 head, but... You know. Sacrifices must be made. Okay. Stop. Off. You. In theory, he's going to come back. Yeah, he's going to come back. Cool, cool, cool. So let's turn you around. Hook you up. It's a good spot. We'll go ahead and turn him off. Oop. There. Alright, let's go and work on our silage as soon as we refuel. I know some of you are going to yell at me for refueling with the engine on. I don't care. Really don't care. Boom! Ah! No. Uh, it'd be kind of funny though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, good. Off we go! To the wild blue yonder. That's not too bad. This feels mostly sorted. He's not going to unload unless I go over there and unload him myself. All right. Um. All right. No, nope, you are unloading. Just the driver got out early, I guess. There we go. Cool. Stir it up big old kitty cat here. As soon as he's done unloading, we'll take him over to Canola. The land of Canola. I noticed that my canola price is back to a reasonable level. Um, uh, or it was at one point. Uh, yeah, 521, which I, f I find to be a relatively reasonable level. Um, uh oh, how are our sheep? 85% oh, on the wall. Okay. Cool. Someone told me I should sell my sheep. Um, I kind of like them. Larry, Mo, and Bob there. Yeah, I mean they don't they don't generate a lot of revenue. It's not a heck of a lot, but but they've been hardworking little critters. So I feel some sort of loyalty to them. <laughs> 